What is up my YouTube friends? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new Patrick Ta Major Glow Cram and Powder Light Reflecting Highlighter Duo. It's going to be very, very exciting. I am going to uh, apply this on my face, give you guys a little bit more of a close up. But before we get started in the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can be the first to know when I upload new and exciting makeup videos. Also, I'm sure you realize we have this wonderful new background. This is the background that I'm using for my brand new podcast. It's a solo podcast. It is called The Goldilocks Podcast, and it's going to be all about a mix and variety of entertaining, funny, and relatable topics, including a little bit about me as well. So if you're interested in that, I will be making sure to link my podcast channel down below and please, please, please subscribe to that podcast channel. I am uploading weekly videos every single week. So yeah, make sure to check that out and let's jump into the video. Okay, so first things first, I am going to be opening up these bad boys. The shades that I got were Sugar, which is that very pretty bronzy highlight. And I also got My Love, which is the more silvery holographic shade. I did not get a chance to get the pink one. And uh, the pink one was sold out by like the third day that I attempted to purchase these. So we're just gonna review these two. Okay, so starting with my love, I'm gonna open it up and get this beautiful, wonderful mirror-like packaging by Patrick Ta, that rose gold. It is super fantastic and elegant and it's, it's all that I love. It's all that a girly girl would want to have on her vanity table. So if we open her up, figure out how to open it. Ooh, so beautiful. Oh, it's very sparkly. So like right in front of my face, I can see it close up. It is sparkly like so I'm hoping you guys can really see that really uh, I would say chunky sparkles that are on the bottom highlighter, which is the powder highlight. But um, as we can see the cram highlight, maybe if I flip it over, you can get a better sense of what the cram highlight is looking like as well. So here we get a little bit better look, close-up look of our product, My Love by Patrick Ta. I want to start by swatching the cream, the top cream highlighter. It's very, um, not silky, it's very like thin. It almost feels like a very uh, thin uh, chapstick because it, it's not as thick as lip gloss. It's definitely glossy, but not as thick as a lip gloss would be. So, I don't know if we can see it together, but to me, this looks like, it just looks like a, like I'm putting a lip balm on the back of my hand. It's catching the light, obviously, but it doesn't give me like that baba boom um, highlight impact that I want to have when I'm, you know, showing off the highlight. What you want is something like bright and fluorescent, and uh, this top one alone is not that. So... Let's dip into the bottom shimmer right here. And right away, it's like, whoa, wow. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of pigment. Um, and just like one or two swatches that I did right there, one, one or two swirls. But let's put it in the back of the hand. I don't want to put it on top of the gloss just yet. I'm not combining the two. I'm just kind of like putting them side by side. Okay, so it's there. I can see the gloss and then I can see the powder highlight. I will say right now on its own, I am not loving, I am not loving the powder highlight by itself. I think like the, the little crystals that are in here, that shimmer is, it's looking a little too chunky and it doesn't have enough like fine powder. Yeah, it's just looking really like chunky, glittery and, um, Really, so far, I'm not loving it yet, but um, how about we just go ahead and try it on and see what we think. All right, so now that we are all zoomed in, I'm going to actually combine the two shimmers, and I'm going to do it in a way, in the Patrick Ta way. He has like a very specific way that he likes to apply his shimmers, which to me, it's very interesting, and it's not something that I would really think of doing right off the bat, right away. Uh, instinctually, I would... Um, try to layer them in a certain way but um i have a video that he talks about his application style so maybe i can show you guys that my preferred way is to apply the powder then i am going to apply the cream 
right on top and this is going to just melt all of the product into the skin. And it sounds like his preferred way of doing it is powder first and then applying the glossy finish over it for a more diffused. He specifically used the word diffused. So to me, that means that that's his way of creating a more natural finish using this really bright highlight, which is, this is the highlight that he was uh, putting on in the video. And on him, him, it actually looked like very like nice and glossy. And he did look, have like that really healthy skin effect. So maybe I can do that his way, like his natural way this way. And then on this side, I can just layer it as an intense highlight by doing gloss and then powder on top, which is by the way, the way I would have perceived to do it first. Okay, so just with my finger, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the gloss of the shade My Love right here. And we're just gonna tap, tap, tap. Okay. Well, I see it, it's it's definitely there. Oh gosh, wait, I was supposed to do the powder first. Okay, well, just kidding, we're gonna switch. So this, is, this side is going to be the intense highlight side and the other side, we're gonna make it the natural highlight side, okay. So we're doing the gloss first and I can see it, it's very pretty, okay. Just like he said, it's like a very natural, um, like barely catches the light. And it, it looks like I just did my skincare routine on my cheek. It looks very pretty. I think it complements my skin tone very nicely. But um, how about we pick up a highlighting brush and then I'm going to dip into the powder. Okay, and again, this is going to be our intense highlight side. So we're going to go in. Whoa. Oh my God, oh my God, this, oh my God, what did I do? Oh, that's, that's way too intense, oh my God. Wow, so that gloss, because that gloss is like really, really sticky, um, it was able to capture a lot of this highlighter right here. And remember how we swatched it in the back of my hand? I still have it right here. Um, we swatched it in the back of my, of my hand and I said it was too like sparse. Like the glitters were kind of like too separated from each other and it looked chunky in a way. I can see each and every individual glitter. You don't get that from this, from this technique of using the gloss and then the highlighter over it. Like, oh my God, I went overboard, but unintentionally. I didn't think it was going to look like this and like, I'm trying to blend it in, but it's just not blending in. It's just like... On camera, it doesn't really look that bad. And by that, I mean it doesn't look as like crazy intense highlighted through the camera as it does like right here in my face. So, I don't know. Maybe if I took a picture, like, oh my god. Okay, so I did capture a better picture on my phone and I'm going to make sure to show it to you guys. But I look crazy right now with this highlight. So... I would not use this technique again, um, especially if I was going to step out into the daylight. Like this highlight, stepping out into the daylight, it would just look insane. It would look crazy. Um, it's like, it doesn't look good because it looks like um, back in like 2017 when people uh, used to pack, pack, pack on their highlighter like everywhere and like highlighter was all the craze. That's what this looks like when you saw that girl. <laughs> when you saw we, when you saw that girl from far away, and you could see she packed on so much of her highlighter that it started to look like yellow, like a yellow line because it was so much. This is what this highlighter looks like right now. But I don't know. Maybe I can play a little bit with some of the gloss and maybe just like apply it to the tip of my nose, just like that. That kind of like bridge. Okay. I regret that. That was not a good decision because I it I, it looks like I set I set my nose with translucent powder and the gloss the gloss just stripped off my uh, all the powder products that I had on my nose. So 
maybe maybe it's not as easy to work with the gloss when you're already wearing like foundation and stuff i have a feeling that the gloss will look spectacular on like uh bare skin face so all the natural natural girlies that like wear makeup but barely wear makeup um this product the gloss right here will look especially really really good on just like blank skin without any makeup so um now i'm gonna try it the patrick ta way so i'm going to try the new major glow creme and powder light reflecting highlighter duo on this side boy was that a mouthful but i'm gonna do it the way he says it so i'm gonna pick up with my brush some of the powder first powder first kind of top off a little bit of that excess and then just very lightly kind of brush and something i like right away is that um, i'm barely needing to tap the brush onto my face and the product wow <laughs> amazing i just caught myself on uh, my camera on my camera little monitor and it looks really nice this looks very pretty so like this natural versus like this intense intensity um, big difference the way that you apply the creme and highlighter duo so far i really like the shade my love the powder on this side and what i was trying to get to earlier um just a minute ago was that i like how i'm barely needing to tap the brush and the product is doing a really good job at like holding onto the skin like gripping the skin like i'm not needing to like pat it or really like need to like pack it down and pat 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 like not needing to work a lot with it it's just seam seamlessly glided on stayed on the face even even application i barely did any blending and it still looked spectacular like the product work it's magic on its own so now we're going to do the patrick ta way so this is what the shade my love is looking like uh with no gloss over it just like eau naturel okay so now we're gonna dip into our glossy gloss right here maybe start from this way and work my way forward and i'm actually using a really a pretty good tapping motion because i really want to pack down the highlighter powder i don't know guys it's not looking so good because when i again again when i went through my foundation where i had just a little bit of translucent powder the gloss when i tried to tap it over stripped my foundation it took my foundation off with it okay so here the gloss is staying on the c that looks pretty it looks just a tad bit textured so um hopefully you guys can see the texture like mostly around like this area where i applied the gloss and it stripped off some of my foundation it's looking just like very patchy right here again not looking very good but since we're doing our close-up um i might as well show you what this popping side looks like this is the gloss first and then powder on top of the gloss so this is what it looks like highlighter on fleek but i promise you in person it looks whoa like way too intense i mean i can try to blend it in just a little bit more but at this point like i don't even know if that's gonna make it better yeah see i only i only took off even more of the foundation away i tried to apply the gloss and i'm just taking off even more foundation from my face so fyi this is the shade my love gloss and then powder over it this is the bright pop inside and this is supposed to be the more natural diffused side and uh, this is the side that i did not like just because the application was very difficult and the finish of it wasn't what i expected i did not love the gloss over the powder highlight technique but i know for a fact it would look really really good if i did that on bare skin if i didn't if i wasn't wearing any foundation but yeah maybe at this point it's just too many products and they're just not working together okay guys so now i have a fresh base of foundation on and our next highlighter duo that we're going to be trying on is the shade sugar she's really pretty this is like a really nice bronzy shade i'm really excited to see how it wears on the face so this is what sugar looks like a little bit of a close-up it has really nice gold 
golden undertones. I'm going to dip into the gloss first, sheer gloss. I really like that a lot. I almost, for some reason, want to put this on my lips and see how it looks, but it's just like a, it looks like a glazed donut. Dip into the bottom powder. It's very pretty. It reminds me of the um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. It feels like I'm putting on nothing on my hand, but it's there and it's very subtle. We're gonna do it the Patrick Ta way. So I'm going to dip into the powder first. Now we're just gonna sweep it over. Wow, a little sweep is really all you need because look at that. I really, really like how it looks on its own. The powder in the highlighter duo on its own looks so bomb. Wow. I even want this like on my nose a little bit because it looks so pretty. Oh my God. It looks so pretty. <laughs> I like this a lot. It's like really catching the light. It's not, dang. It's not too intense. It's not, it doesn't have as chunky of a glitter as the other one did. This one, Sugar, wearing so much more like nicely, naturally. Yeah, so pretty. I like that. Yeah, so check it out. This is the powder with gloss over it technique by Patrick Ta on a blank canvas with no makeup underneath it and it works spectacularly. Love. I'm going to apply the gloss just on its own to kind of see if we get a little moment. Um, it is stripping a little bit of my foundation off again. So the gloss does not work very well with foundation. Although pretty, it doesn't wear well over makeup, over foundation. So that's something really important to keep in mind when you are applying your Creme and Powder Highlighter Duo. Highlighter brush, gonna dip into the powder just, and then we're going to sweep right over it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't love it layered together in this way. I can see a lot of texture. It's so intense and not natural at all. This side, powder highlights on its own, love. It like, I'm going to heaven <laughs> with this highlight. It's everything that I could ask for in a highlight. The powder is bomb. Those are my thoughts on the new Patrick Ta Creme and Powder Highlighter Duos. I'm sorry I did not get the pink one. It's sold out like right away. My final thoughts and I hope I created a really good review video for you guys. And that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking all the way until the end. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a like and also consider subscribing. I like to post new and exciting makeup videos on a weekly basis. And just like that, we're gonna go ahead and finish this video. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys!